Welcome to the Golden Talk interview series where I interview past students of the different programs they have been part of. Today, I have the pleasure to interview Mara. Uh, she was part of my Be With Me Coach, a 10 week program, structured program, where we covered everything from goals, launches, you name it. So, Mara, before we start, Tell us a bit about yourself, your business, what you do. <laughs> well, now I can say that properly, thanks to you. <laughs> so uh, my name is Mara. I own a company called Zenith Creative Co. It is a brand design agency that helps modernize small businesses owned by females that helps boost sales um, and sell their products. Awesome. 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 So let's get right into it, right? This is the whole point. Um, Mara. What was happening in your business before working with me? Um, so it was a lot of inconsistency. When I first opened my business, I was very confident. Um, I had a lot of deals come in and pretty quickly it plateaued out. And I realized it was because I didn't really have as strong of a strategy as I did. I was more focused on my branding instead of the strategic and communication style um, with communicating with my clients. So um, I began to plateau and I was just really in a position where my head was very cloudy. Um, and I needed a lot of direction and just refinement with how I was approaching myself online and in person as a business. Um, so that's why I reached out to you, Teresa, because you had such a fantastic way of just kind of making me feel comfortable with signing on with you that my answers, uh, my questions were going to be answered. So um, just very clouded, not consistent, um, which obviously has changed now. Awesome. And I, I'm sure that answered the, what prompt you to work with me? What made you say yes? <laughs> You're like, let's do it. Well, it was very much, um, it was very much that you were consistent in the way that you presented yourself. Um, you had a lot of the same values as I did. And a lot of the issues that I had, you were just very clear that that what, that it was what you did, um, that would clear that for me. So, um, and also, I think what drew me in the most was that I did reach out to multiple businesses um, to tell them what my issues were. And they told me that they solved the issues that I was looking for. But when I actually got on the phone with them or had a Zoom meeting with them, um, they just seemed to not fully understand uh, the issues that I were that I was having, and you were very clear about that and confident in the way that you also just really um, ended your sale as well too. It was you ran your business the way that I felt comfortable with and the way that I would have wanted to run my business as well. So that gave me a really strong, um, you know, boast of confidence. Oh, awesome! And do you believe that the process uh, was easy? The the from the sales call to yeah. basically day one. Yeah, I felt very much taken care of, but I also felt, um, I also felt that I very much respected the way that you ran the business and you were very much like, your goal of this was not just to, you know, just to talk or to hear yourself talk, which I hear some coaches can sometimes come off as. It was very much that like, hey, I want you to get the most out of your money and your time here. So like, let's get down to business. And we're very clear about like, this is when this is going to happen and this is what you're going to get from it. Um, so even though an investment in a process like that can be really stressful, um, you made it, you clarified it well enough that I felt very confident. So. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. And into our program, did you notice any difference in your business after maybe the two, two to four weeks into the program? Yeah, I felt more confident, um, after the first time that we spoke mainly because I felt, like I said, taken care of, I felt, um, supported, which I think is like, if there was one word that I could use to describe how I felt through the process, it's definitely supported. Um, and you had a very nice way of balancing out. I don't want to say the word strict because you're not strict. You're, you're to the point and straightforward. And that helped us not 
you know, get on a tangent on anything else. And it helped me really clarify like what my goals and purpose needed to be. So I felt, um, very motivated after our first, I felt stressed because I was like, man, I think there's a, I think there's a lot I need to fix here, but, um, <laughs> I knew that. And although it was stressful, it was comforting to know that like, you also saw that, but you also had like a plan to fix it. Um, So even though, you know, the first two or three sessions were a little over overwhelming to me to realize like, oh yeah, I was confirmed. Like these things do need to change. Um, I felt confident that you had the resources to fix those things. So I did feel very good okay. the first session. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Constantly. I remember you were like, after the first week, I already know. I already know. And I was like, the pressure's on. <laughs> the pressure is on. But it was good. But that um, was standing. That's, that's what was important is I felt heard. So that's good. Awesome. And so how would you describe our be with me coach. So my be with me coach, how do you describe that to someone maybe looking for the same thing or maybe having uh, some of the issues that you had before? So um, one thing I would definitely say is that you can kind of handle it two different ways. You know, you can sign on with you and you can really just take what it is that you're giving me and just go with it and learn from it, which is still a lot but you gave the freedom for me to have like open communication with you outside of those sessions, which I think that if someone didn't really utilize that to their best ability, they'd really be missing out because like, that's when I feel like I learned the most. Um, So I felt really, like I said, I felt really supported. Um, I would definitely say if you're not ready to make positive changes and actual changes in your business, like don't bother. Cause that's, what's going to happen. You're going to be told that like, there's things that need to change. So if you're not someone who's good at handling criticism like that, then maybe this isn't the right time. But like, I will say that if you are good at taking that, that criticism and you are ready to like really make changes that are going to benefit you, that this is like the best way that you can do it. And I definitely think that it was worth even more than, than what I paid. I would, I would pay even more for what I got in return. Um, but I feel like what you get in return from this really is, is up to you. Um, it's just how much you really want to see those positive changes in your business, but it was, it was totally worth it to me. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Cause the thing about coaching, I mean, even when I had my own coach, I do that. I had to straight yeah. time. Okay. This is this day. And this day is just for my coach, just to soak it in. Yeah. Um, how are you able to get anything? If you don't have that, that constructive criticism, mm-hmm. you know, ready to openly receive it, which I totally get. Yeah. Uh, and this is what helped me also. So what is life like now? that you've experienced the service. What is it like now, <laughs> today, let's say? Um, so it's funny because I feel a lot of different emotions, right? So part of me feels very confident, which I think is the most important thing overall. I feel very confident that I have the knowledge that I need to fill the gaps that I once had. And to also, I feel like the information that I use could be reutilized on just multiple aspects, my personal relationships and my business relationships as well. But I feel like what you taught me isn't just relative to what I do right now. Like, I think I can look back at this like six, seven months down the road and kind of go through everything just to keep myself on track. So I feel very confident through this situation and then what's going to happen afterwards. Um, I feel overwhelmed, but in a positive manner that almost like, you know, almost after you're done reading like a really good book, you're almost like, oh my gosh, like I feel really good about that, but what do I do with all this information now? Right. Like now it's time to apply it, but it feels good because, um, the issue wasn't so much that I didn't have time to apply these things as I just wanted to make sure that I was applying them in the best way I could. And I think that's what this does is it gives you a sense of clarity and kind of 
takes all those things that are jumbled in your brain and kind of plans them and organizes them and clarifies them for you so that although um, you have more on your plate, you have the systems and the thought process to actually go through those new routines easier um, and with more mm -hmm. confidence. So um, yes, I'm overwhelmed, but in like the best mm -hmm. way, it's almost like, wow, now I have like all these really things, really awesome things that I can do for my business. That's going to help me grow. Um, and now it's, now it's time to do them, but I feel confident in it, which that's is game time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So tell me, what was your favorite part of working together? Do you have a, a oh, favorite part? There's so many. Like, <laughs> I know it was, it was. It, technically it was like 10 weeks of just <laughs> you and me, but give but, me one. Um, I, I would have to say that I think I, I kind of touched on it before is what happened outside of the meetings as well, because, you know, it's kind of like when you're in a doctor's office, you're like, oh, okay. And you're like, all right, I know what I have to tell them, right? I know what I have to tell them I'm having this issue. And then you leave and you get in the car and you're like, oh my gosh, I came for this and I totally forgot, right? So that time outside of it, when you don't have the timer on, even though I never felt rushed or anything in our meetings, it's still kind of helped me to feel confident that like those little extra gaps are filled um, because my brain doesn't really work that that way. We're like, okay, you have 30 minutes now, solve what you need to solve. Um, that extra time of being able to communicate with me, with me or be with me, I guess I should say, um, was awesome because it was more casual and it allowed me to communicate things that I wouldn't usually have the opportunity to with most coaching packages. So um, I was definitely grateful for that. And I even do feel that I've learned outside of the, the hourly session that we had, I learned more about you. Oh yeah. Even after our session, like yeah. at 5 PM where we would like, Hey, what do you think about this? Or <laughs> no, I think you should change this. Like, yeah, that's, I think that was amazing for both of us because I learned a lot more about you, you yes. know, than a 30 question, question, questionnaire could yeah. do, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So. so it wasn't only beneficial for me in the sense that I got to get more information from you, but it was beneficial in the sense that you got information from me that was able to help me more. So, um, yeah, I had never really seen a service presented like that before where you could do that. And that was a huge selling point for me because it's just always going up here. So at any time <laughs> to be able to do that was like super helpful. And it made you feel, um, it just made me feel more comfortable with you as a coach as well. Um, which is important. Awesome. So let me ask you, do you have any aha uh, moments or three things that you've learned in our 10 week session or program? I have so many more than that, but I will narrow <laughs> down to three. Um, so I would say one is definitely um, be really confident in the fact that if you really understand how to show up, that you should speak confidently on it and consistently on it. And just because it may not work the first two or three times that you do it, you need to stay consistent with your planning because it's a routine and over time it'll work, um, which I definitely struggled with. And I think going through the specifics of our plans and the purpose of why we're doing what we're doing um, helped me with that. And it did end up um, having results from that. So I appreciate that. Um, the second would probably be um, something I still struggle with, but I always keep on the back of my mind is just like simplifying that like less is more <laughs> and <laughs> you, instead of just like kind of go off on a tangent on the details about what you do. Um, there's a lot of, oop, there's a lot of strength of just being really clear and confident about like, this is what I do. Um, this is how I do it. This is who I help and just sticking with it. Like that's probably the biggest thing. Um, and I would probably say the third and maybe not the most important 
important thing I learned, but definitely um, helpful is that a plan is most important and there should be like realistic expectations to your plans um, and to stick with them, which I guess is like a repetitive element to things. I need to <laughs> <laughs> um, but honestly, like, it's funny because as someone who was not in the military personally, but worked for the military, um, I was always attracted to that military based type training. And I didn't know exactly what that was going to mean, um, in the sense of working with you, but at first I thought it'd be a little, um, nerve wracking, but it was very um helpful because it was very clear and made sense and was like these are proven and this is how things work and it's helped me a lot with things outside of just my business too um you know with my personal life and planning my personal life and setting goals and you know things like that and it's helped me to be a lot more motivated which i think is something that everybody needs help with especially now um so yeah, that's a long explanation for my third one, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and one of those things that I wanted to ask was earlier in our session, and you did mention it about you feeling more confident. You did mention the very, very beginning that you wanted your business to be, or towards the end of our 10 week Be With Me Coach program to be more cohesive, confident, successful, bold, yet approachable and obviously consistent. Do you feel uh, we either achieve 50%, 70%, 80% or 100% of that? How do you feel now versus week zero? I think realistically, I think that you have provided me with all the information and the knowledge to be able to do that. And I think that over time, it'll be that I have accomplished that hundred percent. I think that where I'm at is about 75% right now. And I think that I'll get to hundred percent once I'm able to, like I said, repeat those steps and refine those skills and get comfortable and confident with everything. Cause if I said I was hundred percent confident, um, I would say no, but that has nothing to do with the teachers from you. It has to do with the process of doing something repeatedly and, and knowing that there's confidence in that. And then they're just being an easy flow. And that's what the tools that you gave me will allow me to do over time. Um, and that's what the most important thing is. It's hard to have that routine and do things confidently if you haven't had that um, affirmation um, and that guidance from a coach to be able to do so. It kind of forces you to try different things over and over and over again. Um, so although I'm not honestly, at the 100% level of confidence I would like to be at, I am 100% confident that I have the tools to get there. So I think that's what's most important. Awesome. And that's what we talk about being realistic. Yeah. So 100% realistic with yourself, with yeah. your business, and what you've learned, which, you know, a lot of the times, because you want to make the other person feel good, we're like, yeah, you know, I'm 100% or yeah. But no, be realistic with yourself because that's also going to help you. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Yeah. And so if someone was on the fence about hiring TGS Marketing or myself, what would you say? Don't be a silly goose. If you're going to be a silly goose, <laughs> get back in the pond. If you're going to be a silly goose, get back in the pond. Honestly, it's funny because at first I, 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 I am the person that is like, I got it. I got it. I just moved from one state of the country to the other. I had no help. I drove 36 hours by myself and I did not want help. I do not like having help. I don't like paying for help. I don't like saying I need it. And this was a difficult decision for me to make, but I could easily say after the first session that if I had another chance to do it, it would be the easiest decision for me to make. And I think it should be easy for anybody. And I know it's hard, you know, um, signing on with a coach as, as a person because it just could be anybody. Um, but you, 
I don't want to be lame or anything, but like you truly, I, I wish that we lived closer to each other. Cause I think you're just a fantastic energy to have around as it personally oh, as business wise. And I think that um, even if someone didn't go with the specific service that I had, I do think that just having you um, as a resource is would be really beneficial to anybody who has any sort of goal, even if it's not business wise. I think it'd be super beneficial because I think you have wonderful techniques um, and a rhythm to the way that you work. Um, and I will take that to the bank. So. <laughs> thank you so much oh my god that means oh my god. thank you thank you that means a lot thank you sure. um and i guess it's one of those things i wanted to ask you you know what surprised you the most about you know me or the the agency or just in general what surprised you the most i think what surprised me the most was your um the way that you were able to be I hate the word strict because I don't think that's the proper word for this, but the way that you were able to be very clear and like structured and not serious, but to the point and be like, hey, if you don't do this, like this isn't going to happen. Um, but also having this very um, like friendly, comforting approach to yourself where I felt comfortable enough to ask questions where I feel like maybe they felt kind of stupid to ask. Um, I think that that's a really hard thing that not everybody can do. And I think having that level of confidence and comfort and trust in your coach is important because it forces you to say things and ask things that maybe you wouldn't usually feel comfortable. And I think those are the questions and things you need to ask to make actual changes um, and to find those holes in your business, because sometimes they're like a little personal and sometimes they're kind of embarrassing to say. Um, so I think that that's very rare. And I think that's something that people oh, should be comfortable you. with when they sign on, because, um, it is an investment and that's a scary thing to do, but I don't think anybody should feel any fear having that investment with you. And which that, that's crazy. Cause it brings me to like the next question, you know, I already knew. the price, <laughs> the work, the, the, the price, <laughs> was it worth it? The service? Or do you think, you know, we could have done something differently or what? No, I think, I personally think you should be charging three times more than, than what you charge. And if I had three times more to give you, I would have given it to you because, um, it's hard to sit there and say, um, this is truly everything that you're going to get from the service. Sorry, because there's no, so yeah. much, you know, this is just the like, Hey, come here, come on. It's okay. And you're comfortable with stuff like this, which is, which is great. Um, so you have a dog, so you get it. I apologize. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. So, it's okay. So, yeah. So, um, the, the price was no issue to me whatsoever. And I would, Hey, honey, thank you. Um, I would do it three times over. I think that you're worth so much more than that. And like I said before, it's up to, it's up to the person that signs on with you, how much they truly want to get out of it. Um, if I personally think that I got a priceless amount in return, to what I actually paid, but that was up to me. And that was because I bothered you all the time and every time <laughs> you were available. Which was fine. In there, okay. Within reason during business hours. Um, <laughs> and I appreciated that because you worked up until you you really did work up until the hour. And I know you did work outside of those hours too, which you did not have to. And I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, like it's not even a question. Like it was so worth every single penny and I'm going to be receiving wealth from this outside of it. And I, I made it back immediately, honestly, like I made it back because of something that you told me to do within like what, like the first maybe six weeks and not even like first two, three weeks. Um, so yeah, like, it's not even a question. I would do it all over again. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um, man, it was, it was such an amazing time working with you because you were so easy to talk to. You were just like me, you know, <laughs> so easy to talk to, 
uh, coachable. So, which thank you for that, you know. Yeah. And that's one of the things that a lot of people, you know, business owners don't understand. And even I was there at one point where I'd be like, no, I got it. Right. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I got yeah. it. And, and so I had to learn how to say, no, I need help. Yeah. No, it's okay to invest and I'm going to get it back. So thank you for trusting QGS Marketing. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you for allowing me to dissect your business yeah. uh, in its entirety. And even after, and I always say, I tell my clients, our, our friendship, our, our service, my service goes beyond the contract. So after today, Girl. Oh, Teresa, you could not get rid of hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> so, is there members. anything else I did like? <laughs> we're best friends now. Yeah, okay. We're best friends. But is there anything that you like to add? Uh, anything, any advice, anything you would give that one business owner that's just holding on tight to their beliefs and, and, what they think it's correct and right for their business because we were all there once, you know? I would say put your ego aside. Um, and I know that's super hard to do, but put your ego aside. Um, if you do not do that and accept help when you need it, you will burn yourself out and your business will crumble. And then you have to build up from that. And that's way harder than just accepting the fact that you cannot do everything on your own. Um, I always tell people, you know, the way that we see ourselves in the mirror um, is not the way we actually look. So it's very hard for us to look at our own business um, and be able to see where the gaps are and what's missing and how you're being viewed from an outside perspective and how you can improve. Um, and I say that for my own business. That's what I say to clients when I design their branding. It's very hard to see who we are when we just look at each other in the mirror. It's, it's crucial to go to people in your circle and people on the outside and get that help and get that advice and uh, get that perception. So um, I, I think if you're on the fence of doing it or not doing it, it'd be really foolish not to do it. Um, you will not do this without walking away from something that is going to greatly benefit your business. You're just not going to, I mean, if you do, then that's on you. Like, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how you can do that. It's so easy to gain things from this, from this, uh, this program. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much a win-win. So, uh, don't be a silly goose. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Mara for taking this opportunity to chat with me and I mean to interview you um obviously I wish you nothing but the best but I will be checking up on you because um but yeah but yeah girl um thank, thank you so much and uh we will talk thank you <laughs>